is this a show where I rate and review big and small Instagram artists by giving them stars and providing feedback. What is this? Hello my dear friends and welcome to art review number 6. I have here 21 accounts that I'm going to review and rate by ideas, colors and execution. And guess what? I'm not just going to rate your artworks, I'm also gonna give you some prizes. Out of these 21 people, 3 lucky people will get 3 of my classes for free. And also I will just remind you that all of the tutorials that I'm giving to you for free would not be possible if not my platform learnfromfred.com where I'm teaching you crazy Photoshop and After Effects skills and show you how to create stunning artworks. You can go to learnfromfred.com, choose your path whether you're a beginner, intermediate or already a professional and depending on your path I will suggest you different classes that you can take. If you go to all classes you will see all the crazy classes that we have on the website and all of them are just for $19 per month. But guess what? Your first month is 50% discount, which means you're getting it for just $9 for your first month. Wow. I will show you later the classes that I'm going to give as prizes. For now, let's get into the episode six of Art Review. You may also wonder what is this loser thing. Basically, the idea is that every time one of the art accounts gets nine or 10, which are the highest points, I'm gonna color one of the letters. And once all of the letters are colored, that's gonna mean that I lost the game and I am the loser here. We're starting with this guy here, Jakub, Jakub Woj Giak, um, probably Polish, I don't know for sure, but sounds like a Polish name to me. And here we have some of his artworks. And what I will do, I will look at some of the best ones. Uh, this one is really nice. Uh, I think it's pretty realistic. I like the colors. I don't like the text here. I think it's too big. You could make it smaller because it's touching the borders, but generally nice work. This looks pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. One thing you could do to make it even better is maybe make the mountains a little bit more blurry because they're so far away and everything that is so far is usually a little bit blurrier. Oh, and here are some of your really nice artworks where you're using 3D lines technique. I don't know if you saw it in one of my classes or you learned it somewhere else, but this looks really nice. The colors, everything is on point. So what I don't like about your account is that you have too much random stuff. I don't, I don't get what is your style, you know? First you add here this type of image edits, then you have this thing which is completely different from this type of style. Then you have some posters here then you have some texts, then you have some logos. So basically you need to be more consistent. In terms of ideas, I'm probably gonna give you five because most of the things that you have done, I've already seen this artwork somewhere else. So basically it's ideas that you most likely saw somewhere else. Um, and I'm just saying that I have seen so many of these ideas that you're doing. I mean, they are pretty cool, but there's so much of those on the internet. Colors, um, I think the colors are in the artworks that I look. In terms of execution, I would say Probably eight because I think you're pretty good actually with execution. You know, uh, this one is looks pretty realistic. Of course, there are a few things that you could do a little bit different. Like the guy looks kind of weird here. He is not the same blue as everything else. His blue is a little bit different. So in general, seven out of 10, which is a great number, my dear friend. Next person is Arman, 18 digital artist. Wow, this is nice. So you see, this is diff the difference. As you can see here, we have a much more consistent art profile, which is good. I like this artwork, looks really nice. So it looks like you're doing pretty soft edits, most likely like some color edits. I mean, I'm just saying that you most likely just took the image and did some color edits here. So you're doing something very soft, you're not doing too much. This is nice. Um, in terms of ideas, I would also probably stay at five because most of ideas are pretty simple, I would say. And um, again, very repeating theme, which is not bad. Colors, I think colors are actually very beautiful here. So I would probably go nine for colors, maybe even 10, I would say. Execution, I mean, execution, you mainly editing the color. Okay, maybe not just the colors. For example, here you did this door, I guess. So, but execution is good in terms of the things that you have done. So I would stay with eight for execution. And here we go, seven point. 67. Then we have ha 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 Hardik. Um, wait, I've already reviewed this guy. Huh? Sounds familiar. Oh, this uh, this is actually really nice. I like this one. And you, you have some really nice posters here. For example, this one, another one, really beautiful with all the colors. This is also pretty nice. I love this. It's very simple, but. So cool, the colors are amazing here. So in general, I would say in terms of ideas, I would probably give you 10. I really like the ideas that you have in here. 
colors also definitely tan um, the colors are also really nice I love the colors here the greenish pinky warm violet colors execution is also really good I would say um, I don't really know if I should give you 10 in execution um, but I to be honest I don't see any big problems with your execution so I would probably say let's go with 10 and here we go my dear friends this the first first perfect 10 and uh, yeah looks like one letter is colored now boom and we are only on number three come on guys you cannot make me a loser okay that's not fair Zach digital artist dumb stuff oh great I love dumb stuff okay what is this I don't I don't really understand what exactly you're doing Okay, some TikTok stuff. Hmm. So again, you have a very inconsistent profile. You know, it's I don't know what exactly you're doing. You have some food images, you have some images of yourself. This is some kind of illustrations, and you have this edit. So it's very inconsistent. My head is like, oh my god, what is happening? Um so in terms of ideas, I would actually give you probably 10. I know it sounds crazy, but I really like the ideas that you had here with these ones. It's pretty unique. I have never seen uh, like this. I mean, I have seen something similar, but not exactly this. So I think ideas are cool. Colors, uh, no, I'm sorry, but colors are really, really bad, I would say. For example, here you have the background with some spacing and your face is not, like your face is just untouched. You know, it's, it's the original colors. It's, it should be some violet blue colors if you have a space behind you. Or here is the same thing, your face is like almost gray and here we have some violet colors, so on colors I would probably give you two uh, execution. I mean, I don't really know what exactly to rate here in terms of execution. Should I rate the illustrations? Should I rate the edits? I don't know. Let's, let's just go with six, some average number. And here you go, my dear friend. <laughs> Milani and Da Vinci. So Milano, 18 years old, trust the process, self-taught, blah, blah, blah. So let's have a look here. Ooh, okay, I see some of my artworks here wow so first of all let's start with this these are actually pretty dope i mean i have seen already something like that somewhere else but i have to say it looks really nice oh my god this is amazing i love this the only bad thing is that for example here you didn't color this the image correctly you just have the face part i don't know maybe this is the idea but i think it would be better if you also had some kind of interesting colors on the background and here as well I recognize my class, my class, my class, my class, my class. Okay. Oh, this is also from my tutorial. That's amazing, man. That looks really nice. Wow. So, um, in terms of ideas, I don't really know because most of so most of the stuff that you have here are definitely from my tutorials or my classes. So, and th this one as well. These are basically my ideas that you recreated so that's why it's a little bit difficult to give you any points on the ideas i'm just gonna go with five some average score uh, colors colors are really nice i like the colors they're not perfect but they're nice i would give them seven um execution probably six is uh, good enough because some places for example here this looks pretty weird i would say doesn't fit in the image execution let's go with six and here we go my dear friend Six out of ten. Who is this? Mayed. Mayed. Okay. The, I'm not gonna rate the images because I'm not a photographer, but I will rate the edits that you have. For example, this one. Um, pretty nice, I would say. This is really nice. It's done using 3D. Wow, you're learning 3D. That's cool. Oh. Wow. Nice colors. So here, I really like that you have the white line here is so perfect. It's almost like if it was actually there. It's too realistic I would say of course if you if you want to, to make more realistic this part is a little bit weird um, but everything else looks pretty dope so but in general I mean as you can see I even liked it amazing job I mean I'm gonna give you eight for ideas I think they're nice even through like for example again I see here some stuff that I feel like you got probably inspired by my stuff but that's not maybe this one I don't know because this is like it, I have a 3D line technique that I use in Photoshop. Um, colors, I think colors are also pretty good. I would go with, okay, I would actually go with nine for colors. Execution, 
I mean, execution is amazing, so I would go with 9 also for execution. Here you go, 8.67. Looks like I'm not going to be a loser today. So now, before we continue, let me present you one of the classes that I'm going to give as a prize to one lucky person. The prizes are actually divided into three categories for beginners, intermediate, and advanced designers. And uh, for beginners, I'm going to give, uh, to give away this class where I will show you how to create this stunning artwork and you will learn techniques that were used in this, this, and this artworks. Sounds pretty dope, right? And let's just quickly have a look at the promo of this class. And again, let me just remind you that you can go to my website and uh, get all of the classes with one membership. Here's the promo for this magnificent class. Hello, hello, my dear Photoshop magicians. My name is Fred, and I will be your teacher into this magical journey where we will create this stunning artwork. Look at that, wow. I know you probably think that must be really difficult, but actually, no, it's pretty easy. We will start by learning the smash tool. Smash tool helps us to basically smudge things or drag things. It's a pretty cool effect that you can use everywhere. We will change the colors of our artwork. Discover the best ways to use Smash Tool in order to create some surreal images. After what, we will do things like getting rid of the objects that we don't need, expanding our image, cutting out different objects, and also using shadows in order to add more realism to our artwork. Does this sound awesome? Well, that's because it is. This class is very quick paced and we will start creating our project almost immediately. And in just under one hour, you can create a stunning artwork, post it to Instagram and tell all your friends look what I did with these magical fingers. <laughs> with that said guys, I'll be waiting for you in the first lesson and see you. Bye bye. Welcome back. Let me drink some orange juice. I wanted to say whiskey but then I realized you see that it's orange juice so I cannot really lie to you. Okay, now we have here Brock, Ritty, no longer human, oh my god, she's an alien. Okay, uh, let's have a look at what we have here, Brock, Ritty. So, first of all, I see that you have lots of illustrations here and only a few edits. So what I will do, I will actually just judge, give a review based on the illustrations because you don't have that many image edits. So I think they are really dope. Uh, I mean, like this one, this is actually crazy good. I love it. The idea is so good. Ooh, this one also creepiness. You have some crazy LSD stuff, you know, like this is probably what people see when they go on LSD. And uh, as I can see, you don't need LSD to do that. Or maybe you actually create them after LSD. I don't know for sure what is your art process, but this looks pretty dope. Um, in terms of ideas, I'm going to probably give you 10 because I mean, I love the ideas. Colors, uh, colors are dope. They're on point, seriously. So colors, 10, execution. Let's just go with 10, okay? I mean, execution is also amazing. I mean, I'm judging just the illustrations, okay? I'm not judging your image edits, but the illustrations are so good. Of course, for example, this one, um, this one is not as good as the other ones. I don't know, maybe I just, I'm not a fan of this style, but I just feel like these ones are much better. Here you go. 10 out of 10 for your illustrations. Oh wait, does that mean I'm another O? Seriously, Prakriti, why are you doing this? <laughs> okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, David uh, Prepass, David Prepass. Okay, what is this? AR developer. Okay, so he's creating filters, basically. So this is not really like a Photoshop artworks, but we can give them a try. Uh, I'm not gonna rate this, because this is, but I will just look at it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Cool filters, my friend, but I'm not going to rate you. This is not what I really rate, I would say. Photography. <laughs> Let's look, what is this? Um, okay, you have some cool stuff, um, but again, some stuff is a little bit confusing. Still nice. I like these ideas. This is pretty cool. It looks pretty realistic to me. So great job with uh, making it realistic. Um, this is really nice. I love this. Great job with the colors, with spacing. Fire. Okay, not the best fire, but it's fine, I would say. So um, in terms of ideas, I would probably give you like um, eight, I think. Ideas are pretty dope. 
but you know, it's a uh, lots of college artists are doing similar stuff, so not very unique, but pretty dope. I would give it eight. Colors are good. I would give the colors eight as well. Um, some artworks are actually ten. For example, this one is ten for colors, but some are eight, like this one. And the execution. I mean, you you do some nice job. Probably eight would be good for execution as well. Eight out of ten. Wow. Good job, my friend. Ryan Benzina, Swifty. Wow. I do anything that hops into my mind. Boom. Oh, you have only five artworks. Okay, I will just look at this. I mean, the best one out of them is definitely this one. Um, I like this. You know, this idea we already saw, saw it previously. I think it looks pretty cool. The colors are nice. You have here some really nice glitter effect. It looks dope. Um, but for example, this one, you know, the execution is actually pretty bad here. I don't know what is this black thing. I don't know what it's supposed to be. The halos are also very bad. It doesn't look realistic enough. Here also the same thing. You have here some blue things sticking out. This one is actually pretty cool. Uh, but again, too much green probably. It would be better if you made something at least like this, maybe this part or maybe background different color so that people can see the difference between these glitchy objects, melting objects and everything else. This is nice, but yeah, probably it's still the best one. This is this one is the best one. This one is actually really, really amazing. I love it, but I have to grade everything. So in terms of grading everything, I would probably give ideas are eight. Some of them maybe were inspired by me, like this one, this one, this one, this one. I don't know about this one, but definitely not this one. Maybe the hell only. So I would give ideas, let's say seven. Uh, colors in, uh, I would say like this four have not so good colors. This is amazing, but all the rest, um then we have here execution execution i'm gonna go with five unfortunately because most of the stuff is not edited uh, well enough 5.67 out of 10 that's pretty good i would say i mean considering that you have done only five artworks this is a great number because you're just starting out okay my dear friends this is it for art review number six um because i'm already pretty tired i reviewed 10 accounts and uh, in the next episode i will review all the rest. In that episode, I will also start assigning the prices. So again, let me just show you all the prices so that you come back for next episode and see who is going to win them. This is one of the classes which is going to be for intermediate students where you will learn how to create this stunning 3D lines and as you will create this artwork from zero till the end. And this technique is also used here as well. And also here and in many of other cool artworks. And this one is going to be for beginners. Um, just I already showed that to you. And this one is actually going to be for advanced students as a prize. And to keep you excited, here's the promo for this amazing class. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to the class where we're going to create this stunning artwork and animation. Look at that, look at those lines. Isn't that fantastic? I know what you think, oh my God, that looks difficult. But no, trust me, I'm gonna make it easy for you. This class consists of two parts, okay? First part is where we're just going to create a static version of this artwork using Adobe Photoshop. For that, you just need to have some basic Adobe Photoshop knowledge and then you're good to go. Second part of the class is where we actually take our artwork and start animating it. And we're going to use Adobe After Effects for that. And I know right now you're thinking, oh my God, I have no idea what the hell is Adobe After Effects and I don't know how to use that thing. Don't worry, I will help you. This class I have designed specifically so that even if you have zero experience with Adobe After Effects, you will still know what to do. First, we will have to cut out the face and put a really nice gradient there. After what, I will show you techniques that I call 3D lines and we will create some really nice colorful lines. Later, we will have to separate the face, put it on the top and also make it melt. When we are done with the static version of the artwork, we will go to After Effects to animate it. In order to animate it, we will use a tool called Puppet Pin Tool. This pin tool helps you to create points on the lines and then click and drag them to the left and right and by that you can actually animate anything, not only these lines. How crazy is that? And the last step in animation would be to change its colors. Basically, we're going to animate the colors using hue saturation. 
hue saturation is going to constantly change and the colors will get animated as well. Voila! If you are still worried that this is going to be difficult, you should know that you can always just, you know, leave your comments and questions and I will answer you like almost the same day, maximum the next day, but that's the maximum, okay? And then at the end, I will teach you how to destroy the universe. Oh, did I say that out loud? Let's forget about that part, okay? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Bye-bye. Make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss Art Review 07, especially if you're in this list, so that you don't miss your prize, my dear friend. Love you. Bye-bye.